Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, and today I want to talk to you about selling pet rocks. Kind of serious about this. And I want to talk about how selling real estate is different than uh, selling pet rocks, other than the fact that the commissions are higher. <laughs> there is no comparison. In fact, the, there is no comparison between selling real estate and virtually any other type of sales in the world. When you think about sales training and all the sales training that's out there, and if, if when you got into real estate, they told you, you know, you need to read all the books you can on sales and salesmanship and selling and all of that kind of stuff. And I remember when I got into real estate back in the 1900s, they were just adamant in convincing me that I was a salesperson. And I, you know, it was for me, I always hated the thought of being a salesperson because just the idea of being a used car salesman and, and all of that, just sales had a negative connotation for me as it does for many of you that are watching this video and certainly for a lot of people out there. And when we talk about the reputation of real estate agents in, in among the general population, the reputation of real estate agents is not exceptionally high. In fact, they say it just you know barely ranks above used, being a used car salesman. And yet the reality is that what you do is completely 100% different than what a used car salesman does. And I think understanding this, when, it, when the light came on and I realized, you know what? I'm not like a used car salesman. The, the job that I have is dynamically different. It's not because, well, they sell cars and I sell houses. No, 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 that's not what's different. What's different is the whole game of what your job is. So think about it this way. If you sell rocks, pet rocks, I love pet rocks. So this is my pet rock here and I'm gonna sell it to you. Any type of sales, whether you're selling used cars, whether you're selling pet rocks, whether you're selling vacations, whether you're selling life insurance or whether you're selling a pair of shoes at Nordstrom's or if you're selling anything, who, are, who do you represent? Who are you working for? in sales, in any type of traditional sales, who are you working for? Answer, you're working for the company. You're working for the one that made the product or you're representing the product. In other words, what you represent is what you are selling, not the one to whom you are selling it. But in real estate, totally different. In real estate, there is no comparison at all. Real estate is the almost the only sales job in the world where you represent not what you are selling, but where you represent the person that you're working with. This is the client. And actually, this is a, a stuffed sock monkey that my mom uh, made for me before I was born. And uh, it's over, it's, you know, let's just say it's several decades old. But today, this represents the client. This represents what you as a real estate agent really, really do. And that is, you don't sell rocks, you don't sell houses, you represent clients. Do you realize that's what a real estate agent actually means? An agent is someone who acts on behalf of another. That's what the word agent is. An agent is someone who does something for the benefit or on behalf of another. And that's what you do. That's why they taught you, and you're getting your real estate license, they taught you about the law of agency and they taught you about the, the fiduciary responsibility that you have. What is your fiduciary responsibility? To represent the person. You represent the person you are working with. You represent the client. You don't represent the house. You don't represent what you're selling. You don't even represent your company. You don't represent your broker. You represent the client. And your broker represents the client. We work for them. Real estate agents work for the client, not for the product. If you're selling a used car, you work for the used car dealer. Or if you're the dealer yourself, you work for the, for the commission. You work for yourself. You represent yourself. And whether you sell life insurance or whether you sell Car, used cars or video games or computers, whatever other sales or vacuum cleaners, doesn't matter. You represent the product, not the client. Now, hopefully, it's a product you believe in, it's a great product, and it adds value to the customer, but you don't really represent the customer. At the end of the day, your loyalty is to yourself, to your company, to the product you're selling. But in real estate, it's totally, totally different. Real estate is about the person you represent. Now, why is that important? Because all of the approach to sales closing, all the approach to sale, to you know, getting, to selling stuff in real estate is different. 
when you, because your ultimate highest job is not to close sales on people. Your highest job is to deliver great results for the people that you represent, which means I've got a person here, I've got a client, I represent his, her, or their best interest. They want to sell their house. What's my job? My job is not to sell them. My job is not just to sell the house. My job is to get the best result, which means to sell the house for the most amount of money in the best amount of time for the client, to protect them, to guide them, to fight for them, to represent them. If I'm working with a buyer, I represent them. My job is not to sell them a house. My job is to represent them and help them own a house, buy a house, that, and get them the best terms and price. It's to represent their best interest. And when you approach the game of real estate, when you approach your work that way, and so instead of it being about the rock, instead of it being about the house or about the commission check or about the, the sale, and it becomes about the person, everything changes. Everything changes from you, from your mindset, from your heart, from your because your motivation changes, because no longer is it about you, no longer is it about the house, no longer is it about the money, it becomes about the client. And I wanna tell you, if there is one thing that will make you irresistible to the people that you want to represent. To, if you want more clients, if you want people to want to work with you and to be more loyal to you and you want more buyers and sellers to come your way, this is the magic. It's when you care more about them than you do about the thing you're selling and more than about the job, more than about the commission check. When it's about the client. It is the only industry where you actually represent the client, not the product and not yourself. And when you show up that way, people want to work with you. Make it about them, not about you. That's the game changer. And when you do that, mm, you can always expect yes. Right, little monkey? Right-o.